Hello everyone, in this episode of Angular Pro Screencast, I'll tell you about NGZone. If you at some point before tried to learn change detection, you already know that there is such a concept of NGZone. It's quite independent concept. So change detection and NGZone can work pretty much separate. Why do we need NGZone? To track all asynchronous actions of your application and run change detection. But how NGZone works? NGZone is based on a library that's called ZoneJS. It's a simple JavaScript library. So how ZoneJS works? Let's create a simple prototype. We have set them out here, asynchronous action, and we would like to know when it started and when it ends without touching this code. So we need to create our own zone.js library. And what should we do here? Yeah, we should do here monkey patching. So we should change the standard set timeout method. First, we want to store an old one. And now we will override the standard one. So that's we created just a wrapper. So if you call now our non.js file, it works as expected. And now we can set up some hooks to know when it starts. And also such a trick to know when it ends. check. So we have start, then a synchronous action and finish. So that's basically how zone.js works. We did it only for set timeout, but zone.js does it for all asynchronous operators in JavaScript. So it basically can handle everything. And what ng-zone does? ng-zone use, uses these hooks for internal counter. So when you enter asynchronous action, it do plus one to this counter. And when action is done, you have you decrease the counter. And also, it's very important, you run the method check state. Check state, this code is very simplified, the full version you can find below this link. So check state is checking whether the counter is zero, so, so no more asynchronous actions. All are done. And then it runs a need of on microtask empty. What is microtask empty? Let's go also to this source code, source code of our application ref, so main application class. And in constructor already, you see that we subscribe to this on microtask empty stream and run tick. So what application tick is? It's we start change detection. So now you know how from asynchronous sections through zone.js and ng-zone we go to change detection and do application tick. 